Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm happy to introduce you to the Trade Manager interface, which makes the trading experience in MetaTrader much easier and more convenient. Let's get started. Let's get right to the point and initialize the EA. You have to allow all good trading. This is a necessary thing if you want this utility to work. As you can see, the MetaTrader 5 version doesn't have any inputs, just make sure that the algo, allow algo trading checkbox is checked. Then you hit OK and you can see that the panel initialized. In MetaTrader 4, there is one input value, which is the current leverage. So the leverage for the current symbol. So what exactly is it that you can do with the CA? Here you can select the direction you want to go. You can choose whether you want to go long or short. If you're going short, then the trades are going to be sell trades. If you're going long, then Obviously, they are going to be buy trades. This is the price where you want your EA to take the trade. You can display your trades on the chart and then drag these levels on the chart. This is very useful to find key support or resistance levels in the market. With this button, you can display it or hide these lines if you want. The take profit can be selected in level, in points, or in the percentage of the balance. The same can be done with the stop loss. So you would like your stop loss and take profit to be in points, for example, this is possible with this PA. The volume used for a trade can be set to the lot in percentage of the balance or in money, in monetary amount. This is extremely convenient for people who came from another platform which uses money as a volume. Here you can say that you want your trade to be $23 and it is going to round this value to a valid lot amount. This is 0.12 lots. You can then add the comment to this trade. For example, let's say I know that this trade is going to be a breakout trade. I can just add this comment to it and this trade will have the comment breakout. And you can also add the magic number for this trade. Magic number is used to distinguish the trades between different EAs. Now last but not least, there are these three buttons at the bottom of the panel. First button is the risk reward button. When I hit this risk reward button, it will turn the risk reward ratio on and it will fixate my current take profit and stop loss ratio. So after turning this on, the stop loss, stop loss and take profit ratio will be a constant. It will have the same proportion as before. For example, if I would like to risk half as much as I would like to gain on a trade, I just enter a 2 to 1 reward to risk ratio, turn the risk reward on, and then after that I can change these levels easily. I can now change the stop loss and the take profit to my preference, let's say 600 point. There is then the open trade button. With this button you can open the trades or create orders if the start price is not the ask price or the bid price. For example, I can open a buy stop trade right here. If the price was below the ask price, it would be a buy limit trade. And with the close all button, I can close every single open trade and delete all pending orders. Now, sometimes there can be small differences between the value displayed right here and the margin used for the trade. This is because the price changes of a security may change the lot size of the security in your base currency. And then you can hit close all, it closes out the trades, and that's just how easy it works. And if you would like to create your own grid or hedging strategies without having to write a single line of code, make sure to check out Manhanger EA. I mean, I have a link in the description below to the demo version and to the MetaTrader 5 and MetaTrader 4 version. If you would like to see more videos about free MetaTrader tools, EAs, or indicators, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Now that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Have a great day.